Hello, I'm Dr. Anupanandi, consultant gynecologist and fertility specialist from London. Endometriosis is a very common condition and could be associated with infertility. Let's find out how it causes infertility and what can be done. Endometriosis is a condition when the tissues, similar to the lining of your uterus, grows outside the uterus. It can grow on your tubes, ovaries, bowels, bladder and also the peritoneum, which is the lining that covers all the organs of your body. These tissues, they behave similar way as the lining of the uterus. That is, they grow and they bleed during period. Now when you have period, the lining of the uterus sheds and it comes out as the blood during your period. But when these tissues bleed, then the blood cannot come out. It remains trapped inside your body and it causes inflammation. Inflammation means when you try to fight off the endometriosis. That inflammation can cause pain. Over course of time, scar tissues or adhesions develop that sticks all the organs together. Some women have endometriosis quite mild with one or two spots here and there, while in others it can be quite severe with extensive adhesions sticking all the organs like bowels, bladder, uterus, tubes, ovaries together, causing a frozen pelvis. The only way to diagnose endometriosis is doing a laparoscopy and seeing the spots and preferably taking a biopsy and confirming the diagnosis. Endometriosis is quite common. One in 10 women in general population will have endometriosis. In fact, the number can be even higher as many women do not get in laparoscopy to confirm the diagnosis. The symptoms can be quite variable some women have no symptoms at all and you diagnose endometriosis when you undertake laparoscopy for other reason whereas other women with endometriosis will have pain pain in the lower abdomen and back and it can be pain during periods pain during sex during open up bowels some women can have pain free periods in between the two periods whereas in some the pain can be continuous with no breaks at all, which can be quite hard to live with. Many women with endometriosis will fall pregnant naturally. However, getting pregnant can be difficult for some. Those with severe endometriosis and extensive adhesions in the pelvis, the likely cause of infertility is tubal blockage or tubal dysfunction. However, those with mild endometriosis with normal tubes and ovulation or can also have difficulty in falling pregnant. It is difficult to understand how in them endometriosis causes infertility. It is likely that as you try to fight off the endometriosis, the inflammation can produce various chemicals which can be toxic to the eggs, sperm and embryos. These chemicals are found to lower the quality of the eggs reduce the sperm motility and affect the quality of the embryos and implantation and hence the chances of getting pregnant even if you have mild endometriosis and normal tubes can sometimes be lower. Women with endometriosis and normal tubes and ovulation will get pregnant if they try for two to three years if their partner's sperm is normal. However, chances of getting pregnant gets lower as you get older. So if you're less than 35 years, it is okay to try for a couple of years. But if you're over 35 years, see a fertility specialist if you do not fall pregnant within six months. There are various treatment options like surgical treatment, IUI, IVF, which can help you in getting pregnant. No. Tablets are not going to make you pregnant if you have got endometriosis. The medicines that are used to treat endometriosis are mainly those which stops you from ovulating. 
The idea is to stop your ovulation and your period and thus treat the endometriosis. Since they stop your ovulation, they are unlikely to make you pregnant. There are lots of research evidence which suggests that medical treatment should not be tried for women who are trying to get pregnant with endometriosis. Not always. The surgical treatment for endometriosis is mainly to destroy or remove the endometriotic spots in case of mild endometriosis. If you have mild endometriosis, surgical treatment can improve your chance of getting pregnant. In severe endometriosis, where all the organs are stuck together, the aim of the surgery is to separate them and restore the normal anatomy as much as possible. In case of severe endometriosis, surgical treatment might improve your chances of getting pregnant, but we do not have much research on it. If you have got endometriotic cyst in your ovary, the surgeon will try to remove the cyst or drain the cyst as much as possible. There is research saying that if you remove the endometriotic cyst, it might improve your chances of getting pregnant. However, surgery for endometriosis can be very tricky. There is risk of complications, and especially if you have got cysts in your ovaries, trying to remove the cyst can damage your ovary, reduce the number of eggs, and reduce your ovary in reserve, and in worst cases, it can, or you can also lose your ovary. Hence, the decision for surgery should be taken very carefully after discussing with your doctor, taking into account your age, how long you have been trying to conceive, and also how much pain you have. IUI, or intrauterine insemination, is a treatment option for women with mild endometriosis and normal patent fallopian tubes. IUI is a treatment option where your partner's sperm is prepared in the laboratory to get the most motile sperm and placed it directly inside your uterus at the time of ovulation. It can be done in natural cycle or with ovarian stimulation. Research have shown that IUI with ovarian stimulation has higher chances of success than IUI in a natural, natural cycle. IUI success rate is highest within six to nine months after endometriosis surgery. IVF is a better option for women with severe endometriosis with blocked tubes and those who have been trying for long duration over three years or women in advanced age. Success of IUI or IVF depends on many factors like your age, the quality of the eggs, sperm and embryo. Since endometriosis can lower the quality of the egg and embryo, it can lower the chances of success from IUI and IVF to some extent. Majority of the women with endometriosis will have an uneventful, healthy pregnancy. However, there are some evidence saying that women with endometriosis are at higher risk of having preterm labor, preeclampsia, that is high blood pressure during pregnancy, increased risk of placental bleeding, and also caesarean section. No, the symptoms of endometriosis can get better during pregnancy and breastfeeding as you are not having periods. But when your period resumes, the symptoms of endometriosis are likely to come back. The severity of the pain may or may not be same as before, but pregnancy does not cure endometriosis. So to summarize, majority of the women with endometriosis will conceive naturally yes, some will struggle. If you are less than 35, have normal tubes and regular ovulation, you can try for one to two years before resorting to fertility treatment. But if you are over 35, then see a fertility specialist if you do not get pregnant within six months. In mild endometriosis, surgery can improve the chances of getting pregnant and majority will get pregnant in six to nine months after surgery. 
it's not always necessary to have the surgery if you have got endometriosis. Endometriosis surgery can be tricky and have complications. The decision for surgery should always be taken after discussing with your doctor, taking into account your age, duration of infertility, and also how much pain you have. IUI with ovarian stimulation can be tried in women with mild endometriosis and normal tubes. For those with severe endometriosis, blocked tubes and long duration of infertility, IVF is a better option. Majority of the women with endometriosis will have an uneventful, healthy pregnancy and pregnancy does not necessarily cure endometriosis. Thank you for listening. I hope the information was useful. If you have any other questions or queries or any other topic that you would like to know more about, please put it down in the comment box and I will make another video on it. Thank you.